I, I think sucrose uh, has uh, great uh, virtues therapeutically. Uh, I, I've heard heard stories about uh, fatally uh, apparently injured animals uh, and people uh, who are in the hospital with with hopeless symptoms uh, uh, being uh, given a, a mouthful. Uh, in the case of a, an animal in shock, uh, they would pour a, a mouthful of honey in its mouth and and hold its, its mouth shut, and in a few minutes the animal would be up, uh, uh, not dying at all. Uh, and uh, that has happened to uh, dogs and sheep and ducks and uh, uh, all sorts of animals, as well as as patients who were uh, uh, in the hospital uh, in a hopeless condition. Someone slipped them a, a jar of honey and gave them a tablespoon of it, and their symptoms disappeared. Uh, and uh, uh, dozens and dozens of stories like that uh, c- convinced me that uh, uh, in an emergency of almost any sort, uh, a good big dose of, of sucrose uh, is uh, very important. But, uh, but uh, uh, if you um, compare uh, just coffee uh, with added uh, sucrose, uh, I don't think you get quite the effects you do uh, with, with uh, Mexican Coke. Uh, the um, uh, I think the coca leaf uh, extractives uh, are really uh, biologically active, uh, doing something uh, very different from the caffeine content. Yeah, you know, I have an article here. It says Coke dropped cocaine from its recipe around 1900. But the secret formula uh, yeah, is... The, but- the, 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 they extract the cocaine from the coca leaf, uh, but sell the remaining stuff uh, to Coca-Cola. Uh, so just to reiterate, the coca leaf extract, it has medicinal anti-inflammatory or anti-stress properties. And then um, and then you said uh, you've seen like a mineral analysis. And so, so there's like some nutrition as well to the to the Coke. Uh, yeah. When they compared Pepsi to Coke, uh, uh, Pepsi was high in sodium uh, so that in Indochina, it was recommended uh, for babies with diarrhea as a sterile source of, of sodium and, and sugar. Uh, but uh, Coke uh, didn't have nearly that much sodium, uh, but it was very high in potassium. Uh, and uh, the uh, plant extractives are, are the only uh, logical source uh, for uh, potassium. And then the chemical for methyl limid is da- is is that's like brown, similar to the brown that in coffee. Is there any harm to that substance? Um, probably is is some harm in it, but it's offset by the other values. Do you think there there may be some psycho psychoactive substances uh, in coca leaf outside of the cocaine because it's rarely only one um, alkaloid or like whatever chemical is there that's just producing all of the effects that you yeah they they know there are several congeners uh, of cocaine uh, that uh, are are biologically active. But they just don't want to talk about it because they might be ordered to take those out too. And then <laughs> no one would buy the product. Yeah. So just just because we'll probably get comments on it, like a f- fresh fruit juice or guava or orange or whatever would be uh, a preferable to Coke. But I don't know. What is your point of view of kind of the puritanical uh, nutritionism of some gr- groups online, like? These people that are so obsessed with nu- like nutrients, like obviously it's a, those are it's important, but with with them not implementing things like carbon dioxide, they're they're not really getting the full picture. But what do you think about that? Uh, yeah, the the full picture is the whole thing. Uh, if you have all of the the nutrients, uh, but uh, uh, an imbalance uh, between fats and sugars, for example. Uh, you're working on destroying your mitochondria. And, and then the individual sleeping next to the router full of the polyunsaturated fats, uh, they might be tempted to say, like, the Mexican Coke is harmful when, when in their specific situation, 
it might be the most therapeutic thing they could immediately gravitate to. Uh, yeah. Uh, the uh, the uh, fat people are quick to jump in and say, uh, eat polyunsaturated fats and cut down your sugar intake, but it, uh, that's the worst advice ever given. Uh, it's causing a chromosomal injury in millions of, of kids to, to have parents that have grown up uh, on a high PUFA anti-thyroid situation. Well, I have a question about Pepsi because since you mentioned it, and uh, it is, it happens to be on the World Health Organization's list of of uh, uh, approved oral rehydration therapies, uh, and I think that's why you mentioned that in babies in Asia it's approved, or in Africa it's approved as a uh, treatment for diarrhea because since they're losing a lot of electrolytes, is that right? Mm-hmm. You're right. Is there any benefit to Pepsi similar to the coca leaf, or is that unique to the to the to the Coke product? Uh, from from the uh, very low potassium content in the analyses I've seen, uh, I would guess it doesn't really have uh, a, a real uh, significant amount of leaf extractives. Okay, so basically, it's just essentially sugar with water and caffeine. Uh, yeah, uh, sort sort of what it tastes like too. 